first time I woke up at 6 in such a long time. This is for Korea. 안녕하세요. I'm gonna go to Korea. After arriving at Incheon Airport, we took the bus straight to G3 Hotel located in Cheonmuro. It was an hour bus ride but a very comfortable one. Oh, and remember to grab a tea money card from a convenience store for transportation fares. Just got off the bus! Woo! We're gonna go to the hotel right now and it's kinda cold. the look that I was going for, like cutesy student vibes, but it's too cold so I have to button up. It's too cold though. I'm gonna button up with a scarf and go. We're gonna eat lunch. Visiting Myeongdong was the first thing on the itinerary since our hotel was only a station away. So we dropped by this restaurant that's known for its gamja tang, which is pork bone soup, and their bossam, which is boiled pork with lettuce. This is the perfect food to eat on a cold day, and it just had that Korean spice that we were looking for. It's really good like this. My flowers made in your life and I'm blooming by your side you know I've been waiting for too long right now sunshine on the shoreline feels like a super trooper is this the true man show right now no god to show guys guys look wait wait can you see can I see I can actually see I can see smoke coming out of my mouth <laughs> Day two in Seoul. I'm wearing the same thing, but inside is different. I swear to you. I'll show you later, but it's just too cold for me to show you now. Anyways, we're gonna eat lunch right now, and we're finding the place. Everything is so colorful here. It looks like a looks like an amusement park. We grab lunch at this place that is known for its jugumi, which means wet foot octopus in Korean. It is cooked with classic spicy Korean seasoning. It's more saucy than it is soupy, which means the flavor is so much more intense and is so good. Personally, I don't like meat that is too hard and unchewable that you'd practically have to swallow it whole. But I never encountered that problem in Korea. Even with this wet foot octopus, it was so easy to chew. And boy, was it fun to chew. A little rice. They call this scorch rice. <laughs> Coming plot twist, once you're done with the wet foot octopus, there is a second round of fried rice. It was so crispy and chewy. It had seaweed and sprinkles of roe in it. It was such a delightful surprise. Mm. They have egg roll, so it looks like, you know, it tastes like Japanese food, but it's really good. One of my favorite stores is KTNG, which is this huge stationery shop with products that are mostly made in Korea. The quality is really good. As a stationery enthusiast, this is practically like paradise to me. From cute carpets and ceramic mugs to unique stamps and postcards, the store has just about everything. And I ended up getting some posters and postcards to decorate my room. So this is what a normal street in Seoul looks like. You can see that all of the trees are hairless. 
literally no leaves because it's just the beginning of spring so it's kind of cold still next up is line friends pretty good I recommend highly recommend look it's a must for anyone who visits South Korea to try out their cafes so we made our first cafe stop at Sinli Doga cafe it's a Hanuk style cafe which brings that traditional Korean atmosphere for customers it's located near the center of Hongdae's shopping area so it was not that difficult to find we got their iced black sesame latte and iced norongji latte apparently norongji latte is made with scorched rice so it tasted like wheat I really like both actually I think their flavors are strong and not watered down, I highly recommend it. We spent the rest of the afternoon finding Object, which is this popular stationery store lingering in the outskirts of the central Hongdae area. It's basically like KTNG, but its store design is more chill and cozy. If you keep walking straight from Object, you'll see another stationery store called Morning Glory. This store focuses more on office stationery, I'd say, but its second floor is full of artsy stationery made by local artists. So of course, I had to get some postcards for myself again. <laughs> Two degrees. I haven't felt like this in so long. I, I don't know the last time I, I, I felt this cold. <laughs> did a little damage at Olive Young. To me, if you didn't go to Olive Young, did you really go to South Korea? Let's be for real. It was so cool to be surrounded by Korean skincare products that I had never heard of. I just felt like every product held a potential new skincare experience that I could unlock, which I eventually did. Everything we got! I went all the way to Object just to get this cup, this mug. It's so cute. Mm. Wait, I'll show you guys the other one. Actually, this is really cute too. Mm. Have a good day. Have a day off. Day three in Seoul. Yeah. It's about kimchi. <laughs> Ginseng soup 
Ginsen? Ginsen? I don't know. I got these postcards. Today we're gonna go to the village, right? Like three different villages. So we're gonna see like traditional Korean houses. This one, this place, right here. I don't know the English. I'll search it up and I'll let you guys know. I still think about this ginseng chicken soup every now and then. I think the dish that we ordered has a Michelin award from 2019. And all I can say is it's very much deserved. It's the perfect soup to eat when you're feeling under the weather or if you're just craving some tender chicken. Oh, and it has some chewy sticky rice inside the chicken and you can always spice it up with bites of kimchi. We then explored Bokchon Hanok Village, which is a residential area with traditional Korean houses called Hanok. It's so cool to see it, but remember to remain quiet since there are residents living there. We're on our way to the palace. Yeah. I mean, if you're in Anguk, you have to go to Cafe Onion. I actually didn't even include this in the itinerary because I didn't want to wait two whole hours just to get in, but my mom convinced me otherwise, and she was right. Somehow it wasn't packed, and we just waited for like 30 minutes. And right now, that sounds like Ray's idea. We got their ice latte and americano along with their pandoro cake. I have to say, the taste is pretty ordinary. I'm not a big fan of the cake because it tasted like any other sponge cake. We're on our way to Oats Coffee and it's really far from Honggik University Exit 3. So. It's like a how long? Like a 10 minute, 15 minute walk? 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 to 15 minute walk. But as long as you can get back to home base, well, that's fine by me. And that's fine by everyone else. We got their main item on the menu, which is the Einspanner. It was as creamy as it was cute, and the first few slurps were nice, but it got kind of tiring towards the end. The scone would have been more delicious if it had been heated up, but it's still worth a visit. I was finding these. I was finding these. I can't find this one. We're on the way to a p.m. place. We are in Dongdae Moon. Oh, I'm wearing the new jacket. I bought a new jacket. Yeah, it's a new down jacket. I'm. I feel like I'm Korean now. <laughs> I think Dongding Moon is known for selling cheap clothes and the quality of it is pretty good too. But what we didn't know was, since APM Place is a wholesale market, you have to buy at least two pieces of the same item. So now we are on the way to get some dinner at 10pm. So it's kind of late. We're looking for shops that are open. We 
found this barbecue place in Myeongdong and it serves beef and pork intestines. I believe in Korean, it's called gopchang. Again, I am not a meat lover, but the meat they served was flavorful. The plate also came with some green veggies, onions, mushrooms, and of course, kimchi. The burnt crusty texture from the grill made everything taste smoky and fun. I loved your rice cake. It had a crispy exterior and a chewy interior. In the end, customers can top it off with fried rice, yes, again, with the same taste and everything. And I'm here for it. I'll never get tired of it, and I still dream about it, actually. I'm just gonna go straight to the point. I really love ramen and of course I had to eat some in Korea. So we again found a restaurant hidden in Myeongdong that served army stew. In Korean, I think it's bude jjigae. And to put it simply, it's just a plate of everything. It had ramen, udon, rice cake, macaroni for some reason, and sausages. It was a lot. night we got dinner at Samduk Chicken in Mapugu. It's a really distinct mixture of honey, garlic, and Korean green chili. The exterior is really crunchy. It was amazing. <laughs> 